Welcome back to Life Under Hearst. Matt Delvecchio here, and as many of you know, my day-to-day life is assisting individuals in their life transitions and helping families and their loved ones throughout the aging process. Very often asked about how to create a safer and more secure environment at home. Well, there are these incredible devices called medical alert systems that allow older adults to quickly get help in an emergency with features like automatic fall detection, location technologies, and two-way voice features. Well, Lifeline Canada is one of the more popular distributors of these devices, and they're joining us today to shed light on how they work and their importance. I have on the line PR and Communications Manager at Lifeline Canada, Jane McPherson. Jane, welcome to Life on a Hearst. Thank you, Matt. So glad you could join me here on a Sunday, uh, getting more and more popular. The term medical alert systems could mean a lot of things. So what are the different kinds of medical alert systems? That's a great question. Now, let's first talk about the two kinds that are available today um, in the market. If you're shopping for a medical alert system, you can typically choose between two different devices. One is a home-based system, which is designed to primarily be used in and around your home. And the other is a mobile system that can be used in the home as well as outside while you're on the go and out in the community. Now, the home-based systems are really perfect for anyone who spends more time in the home. And they're generally two pieces of equipment. One is the button that you wear, and that can be worn as a pendant or on your wrist. And the second piece of equipment is what we call a communicator. And when you push that button that you wear, the communicator will dial the response center, and it also acts as a two-way speaker so that you can talk to the operator and ask for whatever help you need, whether it's an ambulance or you may just need a neighbor to come over and check on you. Typically, the home-based medical alert devices are used with landlines, or there's also some cell-based options as well. And fall detection for home-based um, services are usually an add-on feature. Now, the mobile systems are great for your more active adults. So if you've got somebody who's out volunteering in the community, doing their own groceries, this is a great option um, for your loved one. They're only one piece of equipment when they're mobile. It's the device itself, and it's usually worn as a pendant, and it typically comes with fall detection um, as a standard feature. And how it works is if you need help when you're out and about or in your home, you just push the button. Or if a fall is detected, the mobile button will contact the response center. And it has that built-in two-way voice communication as well on the device itself so that you can speak directly to the operator who's going to help you. Listening to Life Unrehearsed, Matt Del Vecchio here, and I'm talking with Jane McPherson about the importance of medical alert systems in the lives of older adults and their families. So as you mentioned, uh, Jane, you know, there's this two-way communication. So how does it work if someone, if, if the individual presses the button, um, and we'll do a real example, okay? Can you explain how the system will work with a fall detection from the moment an alert is triggered? Certainly. Now, with the fall detection feature, and again, it's not typical on all, so you have to check when you're shopping around if it has a fall detection feature. If it does, what it does is it works um, to detect most falls. So if it detects a fall, it will automatically dial the 24-hour response center. The response operator will come over the line and ask you if you need some help. And if you're able to, you know, articulate what you need. Um, I've had a fall. Um, I I feel like I don't want to move or, you know, I'm hurt. Then they can go through your profile and find uh, what your wishes are in those situations to get help, whether it's an emergency um, response service or or, uh, emergency services, or whether it's maybe calling your daughter or your son or the neighbor next door. Um, if there's no response, we cannot talk to you, maybe you're, you can't articulate your needs, then the operator will um, file, follow the procedure in your um, profile and do exactly as you want. And again, for some people, that's calling the ambulance right away, emergency services. For others, it may be calling their daughter. So that's established when you create the profile at the beginning and, and it would be Correct. the wishes of the family. No, if you can't get a response, call me, the daughter or son, or it could be call 911 right away. We don't want to take chances and that's established uh, right at the beginning. Um, Absolutely. And that's why that two-way vi- voice communication is also really important, but it's not mandatory for the service. Again, if somebody cannot speak, we have all the information in that profile to be able to get them help quickly. All right. Well noted. Now, what are some of the advantages? I know I get asked about this in my day 
day-to-day life about uh, medical alert systems and, and they're getting more popular. So from your perspective, why are they getting popular? Well, they have a lot of benefits. First off, they can help your loved one, older adults, to age in place for longer. And that's so important for so many people these days. More and more seniors, in fact, about 93% of seniors want to age in their own home. And why wouldn't they? Um, it's more affordable. It's where they're comfortable. Because help is also available quickly, if you do need help because of a fall or a medical emergency, if you're able to call it using a medical alert system and get that help quickly, your recovery time can be much shorter from an injury or medical emergency, and it can also lead to a much better outcome if you're able to get help quickly. Um, it also can provide older adults with the confidence to feel and be more active because you know that if, if there's anything that happens, you always have help available at the push of a button, and it's, you're wearing it right around your neck or on your wrist. Uh, I think that's such but, a great point about that, you know, because uh, if you start lacking confidence, then you become a little more introverted, stay at home. And when we've seen, especially since the pandemic, the importance of social uh, communication and stimulation, and, and with that confidence now, it, it can help. Absolutely. It can help with confidence greatly. And, you know, uh, you, we talk about the benefits for seniors, but really there's benefits for the loved ones, the family caregivers, which I believe you and I might fall within that category. Mm-hmm. You know, it's that peace of mind and reassurance of knowing that your loved one can get help day or night and you don't have to be there all the time, um, you know, and that you're in the loop and notified if anything ever happens. Right. You can be there very quickly. Talking with Jane McPherson about the importance of medical alert, alert systems. Jane is with Lifeline Canada. Uh, we have to wrap it up very quickly, but I know cost is always a question that I get. Can you give us an idea of the typical cost of medical alert systems? Sure. If you're looking at the basic packages for in and around the home, they usually start around $40 a month, and that'll include rental of the equipment and 24-hour monitoring. Fall detection, depending on the provider, could be an added uh, feature, so it might be an extra, say, $10 a month. So again, these are questions you need to ask when you're calling and shopping around. Um, mobile options typically start around $65 a month, and again, that will include your equipment and your 24-hour monitoring. And if anyone's on a budget, this is what I would recommend. I would re- recommend that you go online and do your research because many providers do offer promotions online. So that's a great place to start. Yeah. But always, always, no matter where you go online and the information you find, call in as well. Sometimes the company are very knowledgeable about maybe some local government or community subsidies that may be available in certain cities or through certain government programs. So that's why it's really good to call in and get the information from the company itself. Excellent advice, Jane. We want to thank you very much for taking a little time here on a Sunday. Thank you so much, and happy Grandparents Day to everybody celebrating today. Absolutely, and that's Lifeline Canada. If we want to find you online, what do we look up? www.lifeline.ca. Simple enough. All right. Thank you very much, Jane. Thanks, Matt. That's Jane McPherson, PR and Communications Manager at Lifeline Canada. Next week, the latest resources and advancement in technology concerning prostate cancer. I'll also be talking about some of the more popular medical equipment aids to help you age in place longer. And are there any golf fans out there? The President's Cup is coming to Royal Montreal Golf Course in a couple of weeks. We're going to hear about some of the more fascinating behind-the-scenes initiatives that are taking place. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to Life Unrehearsed. As a reminder for all your inquiries or assistance with home care to help age in place, elder care planning, downsizing in the senior living industry, be my pleasure to help. You can find out more if you look up Lianis Senior Trend. Transition Support and Premier Home Care. That's Lianis, L-I-A-N-A-S, Senior Transition Support. Many thanks to Dimitra Critsidimas and Dario De Felice for putting the show together. Great show today, guys. Thank you very much. And you can listen to Life on Rehearse here on CJD 800 every Sunday at 4 p.m.